Yep, it's that time again. Let's go get these groceries. Hey, hey friends, welcome back to this week's grocery haul. I did a Walmart pickup and I've got everything set up here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip you around. The meal plan would have been right before this. So let's get to doing this grocery haul. Come on, let's go. All right, so we're gonna start right here. I got a loaf of um, sliced white bread. I got some of the thick sliced artisano bread. And then I found the pumpkin spice, um, Pepperidge Farms swirl bread. And then my taters are sitting right here too because I had no else to, nowhere else to put them. So I got a five pound bag of the um, russet taters and we'll just do the veggies first since I started on taters. We've got these little mini sweet peppers. I picked up some more mini cucumbers and then I needed some more carrots. Then we got some baby spinach. I picked up some romaine lettuce as well as some broccoli florets, some bananas, and then some sweet taters right here. I think that finishes off the fresh produce. So then back here, we've got some liquid egg whites. We've got some 1% um, low fat cottage cheese. I needed some more sour cream, so I got two of the little eight ounces. And then we got two of the sharp cheddar blocks of cheese and one Colby Jack block. We picked up some, a two pack of the cream cheese, another container of heavy whooping cream. Y'all know I like to keep that on hand. And then we've got a four pack of a butter. We got two dozen of eggs. I got some um, beef bologna for lunches, along with some Gouda cheese to put on grilled cheeses. And then back here I got me, well, got my husband, got to me husband. <laughs> some coffee cakes and y'all know he already loves them so I had to get him another box of those and then meat wise I got these thin chops just got two packs of those I think I'm going to either fry those up or do some smothered chops in the slow cooker but these are so thin I'm probably just going to fry those up and get thicker ones for the crock pot and let's see, we got another three pack of the 93.7 ground beef. I just cut those into individual packs and freeze them like that. I got two packs of my chicken breast cutlets. Y'all already know that I love to have those on hand. So these are gonna go right into the freezer. Along with some, um, I think these, yeah, these are the skinless Atlantic salmon um, fillets. So I got a, two pound bag of those, because we're gonna be doing a sheet pan meal of those. It's gonna be like a glazed salmon and veggies. Back here for stock up items for the prepper pantry, I needed to go ahead and get some more ketchup to stock up on. I got some ranch dressing. I just got two bottles of that. I love to keep that on hand as well. Then I got two bottles of yellow mustard. And then I got my favorite injectables. It's the Creole style butter. Um, I'm going to be filming a video tomorrow, actually. <clears throat> it's going to be like a mini Thanksgiving, so I'm making a lot of Thanksgiving dishes, and I needed that for my Turk Turk. <laughs> so frozen stuff, I got another bag of Southern Style Hash Browns. Um, I like to keep these on hand just because I like to make tater soup out of them, or if I make some kind of a casserole or something. Then I got these frozen sweet taters. I needed these for my dog's food. Um, I have everything else to make it. I just needed some sweet taters. Then I got another bag of the frozen chopped onions. Y'all know I like keeping these on hand now too. And then we got four things of the petite diced tomatoes to stock back up on. Four cans of the um, golden sweet corn. And then I got four cans of chicky and star soup. <laughs> I got two more cans of the corned beef hash. Like I said, this is all stock up for the pantry. And then two more cans of Denty More Beef Stew. I love eating that and serve it right over top of mashed taters. That's how my daddy used to do it, and it's so good. And then we got two of the mild. This is just like the um, 
Rotel, but it's the Great Value brand, so it's like a lot cheaper. <laughs> so I get this and it tastes just as good. I got another can of the Julian Cut Sun Dried Tomatoes. I love to keep these on hand as well. And then I needed another bag of sugar. I just used one out of the pantry, so I always like to replace it. Then I got two more things of the best mayonnaise ever. <laughs> Plus this had a Walmart reward, so I think it was um, 50 cents off of each jar, so that's nice. Then I needed some more instant white rice, so I got two more boxes of that to put in the pantry. And I got four <laughs> of the vanilla, the vanilla extract, imitation vanilla. My son likes to put this in his coffee with um, like heavy cream or anything like that. For coffee this week, I know we can't read upside down, so let me flip it. We got some Colombian coffee, and then I picked up another thing of this um, vanilla, the Black Rifle Company, because it is like probably my favorite coffee now, next to the McCafe, of course. And then I picked up some more of this Nighty Night Extra tea. This stuff works so well. And of course, I got me another pack of my candy bars just to keep them on hand as well. And let's see, here is the ham that we're gonna use. It's a brown sugar double glazed ham, but I never use that package. I always put my own spin on it, but y'all have to come back and watch that video to see this one. But I got that, and then I got a turkey breast as well to put into that video. Needed some more rice, so I got another two pound bag, I think. Yes, and then I got a pound bag of the brown rice for the dog's food. And then this is the um, seasoning that I'm gonna use for the sheet pan meal. It's just um, the glazed salmon and vegetables, but y'all, this one is so delicious. So if you're wanting salmon, you need a quick and easy dinner, supper, whatever you wanna call it, <laughs> definitely give this one a try because this has turned out to be probably our favorite way to make salmon, especially for supper on a busy weeknight. So I got two of those. And let me see here. I picked up some maraschino cherries. That's also for my ham. My husband needed some more of these, so I got him another box of those. These things are like $15, but there's 20 packs in here. And then I needed to stock up on medicines because I realized I was out and that's never good to be out of medicine when you're heading into the winter time, cold time. <laughs> so I got some allergy meds because mine's been driving me crazy, but it's got allergy and sinus headaches. I got sinus pain and congestion. Then I got my husband some more of these arthritis BC powders. These things work really well. It really does help his like, um, restless legs and his feet. So it doesn't fix it, but it does help him. So I've got him some more of those. I picked up some more sinus, like this, I think this is the off brand for like Sudafed maybe, but I got one of those. Then I got these. This is what my mama told me to give Leo because he is not feeling the best right now, but we're gonna go ahead and give him, these are the maximum strength mucus relief DM. It's just like the Mucinex, but it's half the price. So. Yes, please. Always like to stay stocked up on ibuprofen. And then I got some nasal sprays. These really work good. There's no drip and it opens up your sinuses amazingly. So I think the, is it Afrin no drip? I think this is the version of that. But like I said, half the price, so yes. So I've got both of them. This is just the regular nasal spray, it's moisturizing. Then I got some cough syrup as well, just the Tussin. It's just like the Robitussin Maximum Strength Nighttime. And I think that was everything as far as the meds go. And then I picked up two more, well, two new pillows because we have to replace ours. But these are the Certopedic King Size Won't Go Flat Pillars. We'll see. <laughs> And then I picked up just two white pillowcases for those as well. But that is everything that we got this week. And like I said, this was a bigger haul because I needed to stock up on several things to kind of replenish my stockpile. And 
make like a mini Thanksgiving tomorrow. So <laughs> I will go to be busy. But that is everything that we got. And I will have the total down here at the bottom as usual. And y'all would have already have seen the meal plan somewhere in this video. All right, that is it for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big old thumbs up. Leave me a comment below because both of those things help my channel tremendously. And if you are in need of prayer, please let me know below. And I would be honored to pray for you all. But until next time, God bless. Bye.